Sarah Huckabee Sanders. It took me to try to get her name right. It's a weird, it's a stupid name. Um, the uh, Republican governor of Arkansas. Every time I see the word Arkansas, I think Arkansas. I'm not sure why. I'll never get over it. She just um, made a, she signed a law, a rule removing um, woke words from uh, from this, from the state, uh, from the state government, cannot use uh, any state, uh, uh, any official filing paperwork. Can't can't use well, woman X with the X instead of the um, the E or the A. Uh, birthing person, um, uh, chest milk instead of breast milk. You know all these really big things that were harming the American public. Look, um, here's I did just uh, we'll just play the video real quick of her uh, elaborating on it. Um, have this just seconds. absolute insanity. We are now living in a world where everything is crazy versus what's normal. And the left continues to push this woke agenda, basically trying to erase the differences of women versus men, ignoring all of science and biology, and completely ignoring the fact that women have a unique perspective. Only women can actually give birth, no matter how many different ways they say it. That fact is completely based in science and reality, and we are no longer going to allow them to redefine terms that weaken and frankly demean women here in state government documents and... Okay, you get the point. So as you can see, she's doing Americans, uh, the, uh, the Americans work. She's doing, doing God's work. I just find it really interesting. I just find it funny that, right? Um, Republicans are uniquely concerned with what the science says when it comes to um, gender neutral terms or um, inclusive terminology, terminology or woke words. And that's and that they draw the line right there. They never care at any other point about the, the science. Like, hey, look, this is based in science. You know what else was based in science? Vaccines and climate change. Those two things. And there's probably more stuff that I could go into more detail that Republicans are generally dismissive of. But a lot of like major things um vaccines aren't an issue now well probably uh, are but it it seems to be the case that science doesn't matter to them science only matters as a means to an end now let me let me shift on the other side i do think on the left side we've gotten so used to happening to have opinions that line up with science like if you're lefty you probably are concerned about climate change because then the science has backed you up so much and maybe you're more likely to not be a religious fundamentalist like you accept science as an explanation for reality more likely on certain base things but um if it was the case that tomorrow that a report and paper came out and said that look like a all the scientific community just you'd like nope Look, all trans athletes have a competitive advantage that no amount of hormones will ever get rid of. And there might already be papers that say that. I think most of the left would probably, st like, the left that um, is really pro-trans inclusion, I don't think they would care. I don't think they change their mind. Like, I don't think that they're pro-trans inclusion because the science says it's reasonable. They just use science saying it's reasonable as a point to help their pro-trans conclusion. And comes to the sports that's more you know scary yeah. so like look i'm aware that most people just use science to just push whatever their point is here but i think even more uh, like i mean i don't hear any circumstances in which um the right cares about science except for this um this isn't a one side worse than the other it's just the don't take this group seriously and don't take this point seriously don't take the we're on the side of science and logic and reasoning because they're not when it comes to vaccines, they're not when it comes to um, the, the election denialism or the facts that are proven in court by independent and conservative um, investigators and were multiple, multiple times was brought up in court. Multiple judges all said, no, there is no evidence of election fraud. They don't care about the facts at that point. When the entire scientific consensus agrees and then one engineer or chiropractor who is not involved in climate science says i don't think climate change is real they all jump to that person's side they are not concerned about the facts they are not concerned about what's rational and what's reasonable do not accept this as an argument but that's about all if you like what you saw leave a like do a subscribe do a crime just kidding don't do a crime and i'm out